السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله صلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين I wait in mind to the class of that now and today we are doing <coughs> lesson number 21 at the Sulhadi Walishra totally there are 56 lessons like I keep saying um, this is the 21st lesson out of that al uh, الثالي we are doing التأكيد today emphasis and we are talking about tawab is he talks about which follows right the copycats and we are talking about a taqid emphasis so arabs have um words for emphasis which they like to repeat and like al amir al amir the leader has come that means the leader has surely come kind of al amir al amiru you know um so this is that, or you can say, Ja'al Amiru Nafsuhu, the Amir has come himself. Like that, you can use various words for emphasis. Attaqidu huwa tabi'un, or ajma'un, which ajma'in, others like that, kulluhum, like that we use, no? Uh, all of them came. Huwa tabi'un yadullu ala taqreeri al matbu'i fi ma nusiba ilay. It is a subordinate word signifying the affirmation of the principle in that which has been attributed to it. Like something has come before. So the word will come for affirming it. And for example, Ja'ani Zaydun Nafsuhu Zaid himself came to me. Or it also signifies that Shumul, inclusion of everyone. For every individual. Like, for example, if I say, Ja'atullabu, the students came, you might be like, you can say, Illa Zaid, Illa Zaidan, except Zaid. Correct? We can say that. The students came except Zaid. But if I say, Ja'atullabu kulluhum, I cannot say, you know, uh, that Illa Zaid now. Because you're already saying all of them came, that is 100% people came, 100% of the uh, students came. So, kulluhum does that. Like Allah says, فَسَجَدَ الْمَلَائِكَةُ كُلُّهُمْ أَجْمَعُونَ Double is used, no? So, the angels made oh, obeisance. That means they did sajda. All of them together. So, when you say all of them together, illa Iblis, except Iblis. So, we know now Iblis is not from the angels. Because malaika kulluhum أَجْمَعُونَ You cannot say illa Iblis and Iblis is from the angels, right? So, Allah says, use illa Iblis. Kana min al-jinn. He was from the Jin. So that is taqid emphasis. Because sometimes what happens is um many times uh, people might assume you're saying it metaphorically. People might assume you're not serious about your stuff. So you have to bring emphasis to you know show it. So there are two types at ala qismain. Emphasis is of two kinds, lovely. It is lovely. That is you repeat the word, word level, literal. وَهُوَ تَكْذِيرُ الْلَفْظِ الْأَوَّلِ بِعَيْنِهِ You repeat the same words again. نَحْوُ جَاءَنِي زَيْدٌ زَيْدٌ Zaid came to me, Zaid. That means Zaid himself came to me. جَاءَنِي زَيْدٌ زَيْدٌ Or you want to emphasize جَاءَنِي جَاءَنِي زَيْد Zaid came to me, came to me. That means such a great news. Maybe Zaid was dead or something. <laughs> he came and you're like, you want to emphasize. Ja'ani Zaid. So Ja'ani, Ja'ani Zaid. Akhama, Akhama Zaidun. Zaid stood up. So Zaid was a cripple throughout his life maybe. And Zaid suddenly he started, he was able to walk. So Akhama, Akhama Zaidun. That means it's emphasis. That means Zaid surely stood. I'm not lying. I'm not saying it. Oh, he stood uh, in his dreams or whatever. وَيَجُوزُ فِي الْحُرُوفِ أَيْدًا You can do it in huruf also. Inna, inna Zaidan Qaimun. Indeed, Zaid is standing. So Zaid is a cripple and now he's standing. So we can use inna, inna for emphasizing. There's ma'anavi also. We use some other words. We don't repeat the same word like kulluhum ajma'un. That's called ma'anavi abstract or meaning wise. Wa huwa bi alfa'adhin ma'aduda. And there's some numerous words which are uh, specific words. Wa hiya kamayali. And they are as follows. And nafsu wal ayn. The words are nafs and ayn. <clears throat> so nafs is um, a mean soul, right? A soul of a human being. But nafs also means himself. Nafsuhu. 
وهما للواحد والمثنى والمجموع باختلاف الصيغة والضمير and it can be used for singular, duals and plurals but you change the uh, form صيغة والضمير and the plur, uh, pronoun also for example جاءني زيد نفسه زيد himself came to me والزيدان أنفسهما and زيدان two زيدس came both of them. So we use, instead of saying nafsuhuma, we say anfusuhuma. And both, we make it plural kind of. Actually, we should have made it dual, nafsahuma, but you're using two duals then. So they use it plural, anfusuhuma. I mean here. Uh, yeah, see, he gave. Aw uh, nafsahuma, see? We can do this also. Like make this also dual, nafsani is dual. And then you can use huma, dual, dual. Or you can use plural and then dual. Anyways, this huma will give you its... The plural, uh, this thing was Zaytuna and Fusuhum and Zad. All of the Zads came to meet themselves. Same meaning is Ainuhu, Ayunuhuma, or Ainahuma, or Ayunuhum. Ainuhu, Yani Ain himself, he came. Wa Ayunuhuma, and they both came. And then Ainahuma is also same thing like Ainani. You drop the noon in the Mudafna, and then you say Ainahuma, they both came. Ayunuhum. And they all came. Well, you form Mu'annath also, you can use Ja'ani Hindun Nafsuha. Zaid, uh, her, I mean, Hind herself came. Well, Hindani and Fusuhuma or Nafsahuma. And Hindani, two Hindas came. Uh, Hinds came. Uh, that means their both name was Hind and Fusuhuma or Nafsahuma. Well, Hindatu and Fusuhunna. And Hindat, that means all of the Hinds came uh, themselves. وَكَذَلِكَ عَيْنُهَا وَعَيْنُهُ أَعْيُنُهُمَا أَوْ أَعْيْنَاهُمَا وَأَعْيُنُهُنَّ You can use it. I hope it is clear. Using نَفْسُهُمَا or أَنْفُسُهُمْ Leave duals. Duals is not that common anyways. So we can say نَفْسُهُ جَاءَ زَيْدٌ نَفْسُهُ Then you can say جَاءَ الْأَوْلَادُ The boys came أَنْفُسُهُمْ All of them. Or أَعْيْنُهُ or أَعْيُنُهُمْ So be careful. عَيْن could also mean himself. I know who, because you might be like, Ain means I. Why are they saying I know who? His I. What does it mean? Ain also means specific, like Ain fi Ainul Ainul Marad. Then we have an uh, so this is nafsu line. Then we can use kila wa kilta when you're using duals. Wahumal il muthanna khasatan and it is for muthanna duals only. For example, Qamar Rajulani Kilahuma. The two men stood, both of them stood. Hmm? That is both of both of the men stood. So we'll start with both of the men, uh, both in starting itself. The two women stood, both of them. Hmm? The two women stood, both of them. And then for plural, you can use a variety of words. You can use a lot of words, <clears throat> which is kullun. Ajma is more common and kullun is common, but these things akta abta abta are not that common. And it is not for duels except by changing the domir in kull. You will change the uh, <coughs> pronoun. I purchased the garden, all of it. So, kul can be used for singular also. That means to specify that I didn't purchase half of the garden. I purchased the full garden. Ja'anil qawmu kulluhum. All of the people came. That means none were left out. Ishtaraytul hadiqata kullaha. I purchased the garden, all of it. So, you can change the damir. Naam? In kul. Wa ja'atil nisa'u kulluhunna. The women came, all of them. Wa bikhtilaf al-siqati fil bawaqi. And you have to change the form in the remaining. So with kullun, you have to change the damir. Kullun remains same. Kulluhu, kulluhuma, kulluhum, kulluha, kulluhuma, kulluhunna. Right? But for others, you have to change the form. For example, wahiya ajma ila akhirihi. For others, that means ajma, akta, abta, absa. You have to say ajma'un. You have to use ajma'uha. Ishtaraytul bustana kullahu ajma'a wa akta'a wa abta'a. <laughs> right, he's giving all of them, all of them, but you have to say, hmm? 
uh, or akta, or akta, apsa. Use one of these, all of five, one, two, three, four, five. But just giving one example to understand. And that means I purchased the full garden. Wajanil qawmu kulluhum. Then you use plural now. Because bustan was singular. So ajma'oon, akta'oon, abstaoon, abta'oon, abstaoon. And for feminine, you'll say, you use jama'a, kata'a, bata'a, basa'a. وَاشْتَرَيْتُ الْحَدِيقَةَ كُلَّهَا جَمْعَا That means I purchased full, the, full of the God. Or you can use kata'a. Or, I mean, these are rare anyways. وَجَاءَتِ النِّسَاءُ You have to say juma' Because ajma' uh, the plural is masculine is ajma'oon and feminine is jama'a and plural will be juma' Like akhar, uh, akhar, akharuna. And then feminine is ukhra and ukhar. Same thing. Uh, juma' Buta, buta, busha. All of the women came. Hmm? You can say the women came, all of them. All of them. So don't try to remember akta, apta, apsa. This is very rare. Uh, but ajma is very common. And you can use both also. Like Allah says, kulluhum ajma'u. Hmm? All of them did uh, this thing. He brought the verse, right? Kulluhum. Somewhere he brought the verse. Fasaj al malaikatu kulluhum ajma'u. See, ajma'u has been used. If it was singular, ja hamidun, kul, I mean, you cannot say kulluhu for hamid because all of his body came with him. But, um, ja, ha, ja hamidun ajma. We cannot say for a singular person. Uh, his example is more correct. Ishtaraitul bustana. Because something should be, um, be able to be divided. Hmm? Like a person cannot be divided into body parts. No? I mean, <laughs> his whole body came to me. So you can do like this. Hmm? You can make kullun ajma akta apta apsa. Okay. Emphasis. So this is the third type of usage. Fourth. Okay. So remember uh, till now he, he talked about three things. An nafs wal ayn and then kila wa kilta for duals and then kullun ajma apta akta wa apsa hmm? for plurals. Or you can use for singular kullun. You have to change the pronouns. And ajma and all that you can use for whatever. But for not for mutanna. Ligayil mutanna. That's why he said not for duels. Duels you use kila wa kilta. Or nafsa huma. Or aina huma. That one. Anfusa huma. <clears throat> now he's giving some more rules for ta'akid. Wa idha aradta ta'akid al-dhameer al-marfu' al-muttasil bil-nafsi wal-ayn. Yajibu ta'akiduhu bil-dhameer al-marfu' al-munfasil. So there is a pronoun which is attached pronoun. The mere marfu al muttasil. That is, it is like a file pronoun. The if you remember fail madi, all the pronouns which are attached to it, darabu or darabta, ta tuma tum ti tuma tunna, those are marfu. Now, if I want to say emphasize that I hit that I I want to emphasize. So I'll say darabtu tu. Can I say darabtu tu? Hmm, no, you have to bring Damir Marfu Munfasid. That is Darab to Ana Zaidan. I was the one who hit Zaid. Darab to Ana Nafsuka. Hmm? Uh, oh, this he gives an example Darabta. Darabta Anta Nafsaka. It should be Nafsaka. You hit yourself. Hmm? Darabta Anta. Darabta Anta. Uh, if I say I hit myself, darab to ana nafsi. That ana is just for emphasis. I can say darab to nafsi, I hit myself. But uh, darab to ana nafsi is more like I was the one who hit myself. Hmm? Similarly, darab ta anta nafsaka. Hmm? It should be with the fatha. So you have to bring a separate pronoun for attach because you can, it's very weak. You, know? you have to emphasize it with something. Anta, ana, hua, hum. Hmm? Like that. لَا يُعَكَّدْ بِكُلْ وَأَجْمَعْ إِلَّا مَا لَهُ أَجْزَعْ See, like I said, like I said, you cannot say kul and ajma for Zaid. He has given that rule also. Although I, I, I've read this book, I didn't remember that rule. But it's logical, no? I cannot say جَاءَ زَيْدٌ كُلُّهُ Zaid came with his whole body. <laughs> That's not allowed. So, which has components. إِلَّا مَا لَهُ أَجْزَعْ Kullun and ajma can only be used, which can be divided. Which can, and each separate portion, like a garden or something. And it should have parts. 
and uh, yes, who, the division is correct. Hissan, uh, hissan means perce perceiving it through the five senses. Nahu al qawm people can be divided, no? One person, one person, one person. So ja al qawmu, ja an al qawmu, kulluhum ajmaud. So can qawm be divided? Yes, yes. Each person is a separate person. Or hukman, or it can be ruling wise also. Istaraitul baita. Although you cannot divide the house literally, but you can divide through the rooms and all that. No, so that is called hukman. He says, Istaraitul baita kullaha. I purchased the house of floor wise also, first floor, second floor, third floor. So I purchased full full house. Kullahu. Istaraitul baita kullahu. Wala nakul akram tu daifa kullahu. And we do not say I honored the guest, all of him. Like all his body or all his personality or whatever. I honor, we do not say that. My logical point, obviously, this is, it makes logic. Hmm? Now he's telling us something else. I was thinking we can use akta on its own, akta, absa, and all that, but he says no. <laughs> you have to use all of them together. So I thought just for brevity say he made the sentence and said Ajma Akta Apta Apsa. Correct? But no, you have to use it like that. That's the only way. Know that Akta and the sisters follow Ajma uh, and doesn't have a meaning aside from Ajma. It is not permissible to advance it before Akta, not to mention without it. So if you want to give full emphasis, you say Ajma, Akta, Apsa, Apta. <laughs> all of them, all of them, all of them came. That is all for emphasis. Na? Very interesting emphasis. So, attaki do tabiun yadul wala taqdeer. Taqdeer means establish it. Matbu fima nusiba ilayhi. Or yadul wala shumul il hukm il kulli afraad il matbu. So, you use taqid. Why do you use khulasa? It's a follower. Tabi, right? It comes after the word. After. Like in manut nat, no? Ala taqdeer il matbu. To emphasize the previous word, matbu, which is followed. What is it ascribed to it? Like Ja'a. And it could include Shumul. The ruling is applied totally on one person. Or for every person. Like Ja'al Qawm. There are multiple people here. You are applying to all of them. At-Takid wa ala qismain. At-Takid lafzi. Wa takradu lafzi al-awwal bi'ayni. You repeat the same word again. Wa yajuzu takradu al-hurufi aydan. You can do takrar of the huruf also. The letters also. Hmm? Fifi al bayti rajulun. Fifi. You can do that. I mean, in the house, in the house, the man. Or in, in the house. Ma'anabi yatahakku bil al fadin maksusa. Then there's uh, abstract meaning wise. You use these words. Nafsun wa aynun. Nafsuhu, aynuhu. And you can use it for duals, plurals. Nafsuhu, nafsuha, anfusuhuma, no, anfusuhum. I know all the same thing. Kila wal kilta only al mudafatani la damir. Kila wal kilta only for duels. Both, both, both. And kullun ajma wa akhwatuha. Ajma akhwatuha. You use it. You can use it with anyone. So, but ajma, kullun, you have to change the damir like kulluhu, kulluha, kulluhum, kulluhuma, kulluhunna, kulluhum, like that. But ajma, you have to change the sigha itself, the form itself. Like ajma is for singular. Plural will become ajma'oon. Feminine will become jama'a. And uh, plural will be um, jama'a. And then plural will be juma'a. Uh, juma'a. Hmm? Juma. La yuakkadu al-dhameer al-marfu mutasla. And if there's a dhameer attached, but not. Bin nafsi wal-ayin illa ba'da ta'kidi bi dhameer al-afin munfas. You have to bring a detached pronoun. Marfu pronoun detached. Like huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, huna, and datum. And all those. Anana ahmu. وشرط التأكيد باللفظ كل وعجما صحة افتراق أجزاء المؤكد حسا أو حكما. And it should be able to divide. When you're using كل وعجما, something should be divided like we talked about. Logical point this is. ولا يجوز ذكر أكتا وأخواتها في الكلام إلا بعد ذكر أجما. It's not allowed except use it after أجما. You have to use all of them. Or one of them maybe. أسئلة عرف التأكيد explain التأكيد ومثلة أو give examples for it. ما هي أقسام التأكيد؟ What are the different types of تأكيد؟ وضح ذلك بأمثلة. Give examples for that. كيف تؤكد تأكيدا لفظا؟ How do you 
give the taqid lawzan mathil lidhali give examples for that mahiya alfazu allati yuakkidu biha ma'nabiyan what is abstract right to give examples bima to akkadu al-mutanna for duals what do you use kila and kilta and how do you use plural jama' ajma'oon kulluhum ishrah dhalika wa mathil lahuma explain and give examples kaifa to akkadu dhamil muttasil bin nafsi wal ayn how do you say attached pronoun you bring a dhamil munfasil mathil lidhali give examples tamadid عين الألفاظ المؤكدة وبين نوعها في الجملة التالية. Specify the words which are emphasized and tell us types in the following sentences. إن إن الولد نائم. Indeed, the boy is sleeping, but إن he is repeated two times. So which type it is? First, we say تأكيد. You can say توكيد also, and تأكيد also is the same thing. نعم. مت همزة أو مت واو. This is تأكيد لفظي. You repeated the word. جاء جاء زي سعيد لفظي again هذه خالتك عينها this is your خالة herself عينها means herself so this is تأكيد معنوي أنت نفسك لم تعطي أخاك حقه you yourself did not give your brother your right his right so نفسك نفس has been used this is معنوي again جاءت المعلمات أنفسهن the teachers came themselves أكلت أنا البرتقال. I ate برتقال. This is معنوي again. I mean, this looks like لفظي, no? This looks like لفظي because not معنوي. Because instead of two, we cannot use two. We used أنا. This looks like repeat of the word, but you have to use رفع, no? So we use أنا. ذهب الطفلان كلاهما. The two children went كلاهما. Both of them. That is معنوي again. دع تأكيدا مناسبا في الجملة التالية. Okay. في البر تأكيد. جاء أبوك نفسه. Your father came himself. رأيت أخاك. I saw your brother himself. So I say. عينه عينه himself. So or نفسه. رأيت أخاك نفسه. We can use عين also. We cannot say كله. No, not allowed. Because your brother, you cannot divide him, no? Safar al-Taliban kilahuma. The two students came, traveled, both of them. That means both of them traveled. At-Tiflu Dhakiyun. What? How do you use it here? Kullu, Ajma, no. Nafs. Inna. Oh, Inna. Now maybe use Inna, Inna. Jaa, Jaa, Tiflu Dhaki. You have to use jaa ja. The child, he wants lovely examples. The child intelligent. Hmm. But it should be, a, it's an object, no? You cannot use inna also. I don't know, jaa ja can be used. But dhakiyun, jaa ja tiflu. It cannot be dhakiyun, it should be ad dhakiyun. Hmm, I don't know this one. Hmm. I don't know. ذهب إلى السوق. إنه إنه ذهب إلى السوق. Indeed, indeed, he went to the market. اشتريت الكتب كلها. I purchased the books, all of it. قرأت المجلات كلها. Again, كلها. Or you can use اشتريت الكتب. Instead of كل, we'll use أجمع. Now this is feminine, not jum. But you use same feminine singular. So jamaa, and same thing here, jamaa. Arab ma yali safara safara saeedun. So safara fil maadi and what is another safara taqid? Mu saeed travel. Fanajina hu wa ahlahu ajmain. And he says saved him and his family, all of them, ajmain, all of them. Um. So ajmain has been used. So, Ajma' is the Taqid. وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا And he taught Adam the names, all of them. كُلَّهَا كُلَّهَا is Taqid. إِنَّ إِنَّ الْخَمَرَ مُحَرَمَةٌ Indeed, indeed, wine is prohibited. And with that, we are done. Next lesson will have Badal, the Taba'a. Followers, next lesson, inshallah, ta'ala. And then we'll have 
mabniyat we are done with matbuat uh, once we finish with badal inshallah taala in our 22nd lesson today was 21st barakallahu feekum subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shallallahu la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa